Hiya, so welcome to my channel again. Today I'm just going to show you a few little simple steps. So basically I want you to show you how to do, um, how to uh, minimise columns quite easily. So for example, this is just kind of an example of a, um, a 90, down, 90 day project plan. So I highlighted the columns here because what you want to do is try and break them down so um, these columns turn out to be smaller boxes. So you just select the columns that you want smaller and you go to column width and usually most people do it to two and there you go they just reduces your columns into smaller ones also I'm just going to show you the rag status so rag is usually called red amber green and I want to put it here um, as a drop down so what I'll do is I would select one of the fields and there's two ways of doing this you can either go to Data validation and list and list them all here. So red, comma, amber, green, carry on, and then OK. Or what you could do is just select this and select the, the your list because it could be a long list. And just select that and click back on this little box. And OK, and if you look at the field that you selected, that should have red, amber, green. Now, if you, as you can see, you can see these highlighted. Those highlights don't actually appear um, with the, the rag status that I've just done. This actually highlights a different way. So what I'll do is I'll just um, do it. I'll just show you how that was done. So you just select the column that you want it. You go to home and conditional formatting. And I usually go to highlight cells and text that contains. This is the easiest way to do it. And if I just put in red, then that would be light red with a dark red text, okay. And then you have to OK, and then you go back to the same conditional formatting again. So highlight fields, text that contains, and then just put in green as one of the others. And I want this to make sure it's filled with green and with green text. And then you do it again. So you carry on doing it with all the text that you want, what color you want it. So I want amber. Not Zamba, Amber. Type it in, and that would be a light yellow. Yellow with yellow text, okay. So then what you do is you have your. So if you do Amber, it goes Amber. And if you do Green, it goes Green. And you want it to carry on all the way down. So what you do is just keep your plus sign there and just double click and it will go all the way down. And of course, some might not all be green. So you just change it to whatever you want it to be. And that is your reg status. Also, I'm just going to show you again how it's done. So for example, I want the not started in progress and complete here. So I'll just go to data, data validation, and you select list. Now the list you could do, type it in yourself, or if it's a long list, or select where you've written them already. And you just click on that box again, and just okay. And it will be, there you go. And this is also done with conditional formatting. So you'll just do the same thing again. Select the area you want it to be done. Go to home. Go to conditional formatting. Highlight cells. Text that contains. So it's in progress is light red. Nope, you want not started in red. 
and light red with red text and then you go back to conditional formatting cells text and you do in progress and that would be yellow because it's like amber and then you'll do the same again for green so complete meaning it's pretty much green and there you go so if you select that and press the plus button that will go all the way down and you can just change it to not started and you can just change it the way you want to change it I'm hoping this can help you just to just understand how can data validation and conditional formatting works just in the simplest ways um, hopefully this has helped you and if not please let me know um, and I can try and assist you with further training thank you very much for your time again and please provide any comments thank you